Welcome back. What's up, everyone? In this episode, we're going to talk about fetching company overview data uh, for specific companies using the Alpha Vantage API um, to get some information like the market cap, the name of the company, where it's traded, some other just like really, really, you know, overview type data. So uh, the Alpha Vantage API provides things like the symbol, the exchange, the currency, the country, the sector, the industry, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and one of the things that I'm really interested in is this market capitalization, because when we're looking at insider filings, the market cap of the company um, can tell us a lot. So the, the bigger the company, so if you're thinking about like looking for signals in insider filing, so if the, uh, you know, forms are being filed at the SEC and those forms are being filed by the CEO of a company and you're looking at a company that is a massive company like IBM. You can't even, I can't even count like how many, what is this billions or whatever. Yes. Yeah, so I think it's like $127 billion market cap. So if the CEO of IBM trades, makes a trade and they buy some shares of IBM, that trade is going to have some sort of information. And then if the CEO of a company that has a way smaller market cap, like maybe they have a hundred million or, um, you know, 200 million market cap versus really far into the billions, the CEOs of those much smaller companies, there's a greater chance that a CEO at a much smaller company has visibility over all the projects, the direction, um, and kind of has like a better sense for where things are going. And again, the, <laughs> the uh, data from insider uh, intelligence, investment intelligence from insider trading. Um, again, this book has some interesting data uh, and numbers that it tells about, um, you know, the predictability or like the signal that's involved with an insider trade for companies of different sizes. So if you're looking at really massive companies, the, the signal starts to fade away. When you're looking at much smaller companies, the signal is really high, especially at IPO. So if you have a, a really small company that's $100 million market cap that just IPO'd and the CEO is buying shares at, the, at, at IPO, that is an incredibly strong signal that the price is probably gonna go up. And so one of the things we wanna do is just pull in this overview data. So um, today, in today's episode, we're gonna write a little task that will hit the Alpha Vantage API, similar to how we did for prices, and then we're gonna populate some company data. So we already have comp a company model. And in the company model right now, we just have a giant JSON blob with all the prices. We have the ticker symbol and we have the name and that's really it. Um, so we wanna add some more data in here. Um, so I just wanna like take a look at these, um, at the data that's available in the JSON blob that came back. Um, you'll notice that we have to pass in overview as our function, the symbol, and then we're gonna pass in our API key. Uh, and we should get back all of these different um, all these different metrics that we can then explore. So if we go take a look at our fetch company prices job, we wrote a price service and the price service hits the Alpha Vantage API with this client. What I'm thinking is we might actually just wanna reuse the same price service and instead add a new method here called like fetch overview and we'll give it another ticker and again, we'll just do something really similar. So we're gonna say like uh, client dot, oh gosh, I don't actually know what it's gonna look like. So yeah, why don't we, why don't we just drop into Rails console and let's pull up the Alpha Vantage RB um, docs because this is the Ruby gem that we're using. And so they might have overview. So I just search for overview, it's not there. What if we search for um, okay, so this might be it. Nope, that's, hmm. So, okay, let's see if that works. So if we say price service uh, dot uh, what is it? Fetch prices, right? Or no, dot client. So that's gonna give us our alpha vantage client. And then we want to CD into client. Let's see. And what are the methods that we have here? We have um, crypto download exchange request search sector stock verbose. Uh, if we say stock Apple um, given one expected zero keyword symbol. 
Okay, so that gives us back a stock. Um, but what is that actually? How do we get like the market cap? Hmm. I wonder if this has support for the the market cap. Uh, stock quote. We don't want the well. Do we want the quote? No. We want we want the overview. Okay. So one other way that we can do this is by looking. Okay. So query. Query? No. All right. Let's search in the Ruby client here for query. Does it have query? It does. Okay. Request. Download. Is it just request? Is that it? Um, oh, that, that seems like a more raw thing that maybe is used by a higher level. Right, because this is taking in the URL. So what if we search for overview? Let's search for overview. No, okay, so it's not implemented in here as overview. So this function overview that's being passed to query. So let's just search query again. Okay, so from the client, let's say request or, uh, yeah, is it request? Request, and then the URL that we're gonna pass in, let's say that URL is function equals overview and see what we get back. It says invalid API call, see the docs. <laughs> okay, so, oh, question mark. Okay, so query question mark and then function equals overview. Oh, and symbol. Okay, so that gives us the whole thing. Um, is that, that, like, it seems like this might not have actually been implemented in here, but whatever, we can, we can work with it. We can work with it. All right, so in our price service, we're gonna add a new method here that is just client.request, and we're gonna pass in function overview and symbol is equal to ticker. Uh, and then we're gonna get back some data and the data is all of this stuff. And the thing that we care about is, um, let's pull off the full name. Let's get like the full, yeah, so let's say, um, what do we want to do? So that's actually, hmm. I think we might wanna just return that directly from this price service. And then in our job, we can um, update the company data. All right, so let's create a new job. So Rails G job, like fetch company overview. And in here, fetch company overview job, we're gonna say uh, price service dot, uh, fetch overview for a ticker. And this will take in a company ID, company.find, or yeah, I, uh, company ID, and then we'll pass in company.ticker, and this is gonna give us our overview data. And then we wanna say like company.update name and some other stuff. And we're gonna say like uh, overview data at name. I think we have to use that capitalized key because that's what is used here. Um, I don't think we need description. Uh, maybe we should pull in the description. I don't know. One reason why it might be good is if we have a detail page where we're showing all the company data and we hit a company that we don't know anything about, um, we might wanna read a little bit about the description of what they do um, before we make a trade. So let's pull that into, sure. Overview data description. You might be wondering, why don't we just pull all the data in? And the reason is that um, you don't really need it if you're not gonna use it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of pulling the stuff that I'm going that I'm planning to use. The CIK we already have, the exchange and the currency and the country. And eh, I think we can skip all those because they all should be US and USD given we're pulling from the SEC, I think. 
Sector and industry are interesting. Let's pull in the sector and the industry. Overview data sector and um, overview data industry. And what else do we want here? No, don't really care about the address. Full-time employees is kind of interesting, but um, yeah, sure, full-time employees. So employees overview data for full-time employees. Um, we definitely want the market cap. Market cap is overview data at market cap. And the EBITDA, PE ratio, PEG ratio, book to value. These are all some like really like fundamental things that other folks would look at when they're doing fundamental analysis. It might be interesting to compare it when you're looking at this, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna skip a lot of these normal like default things. And instead, I think I'm just gonna link out to like Google Finance for a lot of this, but I do want to run some data on the actual um, against the market cap and against like maybe some of these other metrics. So um, shares outstanding, shares float, shares short, short prior month, the short ratio, uh, percent insiders. I mean, that's pretty interesting given it's, we're talking about insiders. So percent insiders and all of this is gonna change day to day, but we really kind of just need a snapshot like once a quarter or something. Um, we don't need to pull this all the time. Um, percent institutions, um, that's kind of interesting. Uh, okay, let's just stick with this for now and we can always come back and add more later. So name, description, sector, industry, employees, market cap, percent insiders. We need to add all of these as columns to the company table because right now in the company table, oh, we already, we do have the name. We don't have anything else. So let's go do that. So we're gonna say Rails, oh, we're gonna say uh, Rails G migration, add over, oops, uh, add overview to uh, data to company. And we'll build a little migration that will add this overview data. Add overview data to the company. So we're gonna say add column to companies. And what are we gonna add? So the overview job, yeah, okay. So we need to add description. This is gonna be text, add column, uh, uh, companies sector. This will be text. We probably could build like a table of all the sectors and the table of all the industries and then um, like join them and such. Uh, that's probably like the proper way to do it. But I think we can just be sloppy here and drop in the sector and industry directly. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, let's see, employees and, oops. This is gonna be employees, and this will be an integer. And then uh, the market cap. And the market cap, I don't think we can use integer. I think we wanna use big int or something. Rails big int, can we use a big int? Uh, yeah, big int, cool. And then add column companies for percent insiders, and that's gonna be a float, I think. And we should be good to go. So we'll say Rails G or Rails my Rails DB migrate. That will run the migrations and add those columns to the database. Cool. All right, so now if we go to our fetch company overview job. If we were to perform this for a specific company, we would expect that we hit the Alpha Vantage API with that company's ticker, and then we get back the overview data, which we can then use to update the company in the database, and then we should just move forward. So let's see if we can actually get this to dance for us in Rails console. So we'll say reload, and then I'll put in the job name, perform now for company one. And it looks like that might have been a database hit. And we've got the name, PagerDuty, we've got a description, a bunch of other information. So let's pull up 
company number one in local host. So companies slash one, oops, slash one. Pager duty, very cool. And we don't have any other data about it, but um, we can add that like here in the sidebar. I think it'll be pretty easy to do. So let's go do that. So company show, company show. Um, I think to the left, yeah. So uh, I don't actually know where this is gonna go. Let's see. So we've got company name and company ticker up there. And then I've been using Tailwind UI. So let me go to the Tailwind UI. And let's see if there's a like a nice data list component that we could drop in. Or maybe some stats actually, let's use stats. So there's some cool stats components here. Maybe we use, uh, I don't know. What should we use? Well, we're gonna probably want uh, the description in a P tag. So at company.description. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's the description. Kind of looks nasty. It's like all, yeah. I really just want it on the side here on the left, but I need to figure out how to move this panel so it's like squished to the left or to the right. Um, and then what else do we want? We want uh, the market cap probably in like one of these sweet, I don't know, one of these really basic ones. So I'm just gonna grab this here and then come back over and dump it in. And let's see how that looks. And we'll say uh, market cap. And we can print out at company.market cap. Refresh. Okay, so that looks okay, but we want it to be like delimited, which, how does that work again? Yeah, number, so number with delimiter, number with delimiter is a Rails helper that allows you to delimit the number with commas. So here we can see that PagerDuty is a $3 billion company. That is super crazy because they just went public. Um, and I think I actually wanna grab like a little bit more to make this thing look like not awful. Cause I didn't want it to stretch all the way across. So let's see, okay, nice. And then this is like too close to the bottom, this refresh prices thing. So I'm gonna put um, a margin top of six on there, scoots that down a little bit. And then let's add another, another one of these sort of like metrics thingies. Uh, wait, DL, oh shoot, slash DL. And then, what was the other thing? Employees. And then we'll put like employees. So there's 783 employees. They have a $3 billion market cap. Can't even remember what other data we pulled in. All right, so let's see. Um, bundle exec annotate models. And then we wait just a second so that, oh, I mean right here, percent insiders, employees. Yeah, so percent insiders. Let's do that one. So, 8YYP percent insiders. Cool, 15.255, and then we'll just like put a little percent symbol after it. I think that'll look cool. All right, that is looking pretty sick, and I love it so much. That's cool. All right, so we've pulled in some data from the Alpha Vantage API, and that's helping us populate this company view uh, where we can now see the market cap, the number of employees, the percent insiders. Um, so this is exactly what we were setting out to do. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.